on the uh, back to back world champions tomorrow. How exciting is that? You as a playing group to, to test yourself against the best. Oh, really exciting. Um, you know, it's been a really good week um, off off the back of a good July series. Um, so the boys are prepared really well and looking forward to the great challenge ahead of us tomorrow. Um, John Davilius earlier this week mentioned that the Wallabies are under a lot of pressure considering the results from the last couple of years. Do you feel that pressure as a playing group going into a big game like this? No, not really. Um, I think there's always pressure going into a test match. Um, you know, but we've always, as a group and with our coaching staff, have brought the focus back to ourselves, um, understanding the good things that we've displayed in the July series and the reason to why uh, we won those games and those are the things that we want to continue to build on and as you mentioned like it's a it's probably the best arena to to put that to work um, you know tomorrow against against South Africa so um, yeah I think there's always pressure heading into test matches but um, to relieve that you've got to prepare really well and um, I think that the boys have definitely done that this week. Speaking of John De Villiers, as a couple of weeks ago, he said that uh, there was no man that could turn around the Wallabies, and he said that they might have to find a woman because Joe Schmidt's not the person who can turn around the Wallabies. Do you feel like the Wallabies have been just completely written off by the rest of the world, and even showing a bit of disrespect by comments like that? Um, yeah, like I, I wouldn't know. Like from, um, you know, internally, like the boys have so much respect for Joe. Um, the experience that he has and um, the way that he carries himself around the group. Um, the boys have really gone around him, especially the coaching staff as well. Like we all know the rugby IQ and the knowledge that our coaching staff has and being a part of that, like as players, like we're grateful. And to be a part of a group that has that knowledge on board so we can continue to learn, especially guys um, who are leaders, um, who have been around for a while, still learning, you're still growing, like that's exactly what you want. Um, so internally, like, there's a lot of belief on our coach and, yeah, we don't really listen to what other people have to say about our group. Can you use the underdog tag to your advantage? Um, like, what, what we're using is us building on our game. Um, like, that's what we're using. Like, we um, have poured a lot of focus into that, into our process um, and how we want to continue to grow. And we've got a vision on where we want to be um, how, how, how we want to play and we know that we're not the full product yet um, but we're building towards that and there's a great feeling amongst the group and um, yeah that's what we're believing in and that's what we're pouring into. Has that Schmidt um, style been kind of um, gobbled up by the players in the sense that last year there seemed to be a lot of confusion about the, the way you were trying to play etc like when he came and through July has that been something that the players are really responding to just the, the structure and the certainty about what yeah, I mean, like the, there's definitely a lot of clarity in our game, um, especially in the basics of our game, and um, those are areas that the leaders and the coaching staff have been driving, um, you know, day in, day out. So, yeah, for sure, like everyone's on the same page, understanding where you need to be in the field and what role you need to deliver. So, um, yeah, that's been a massive step forward. Alan, always a challenge up front, obviously. How exciting to see Isaac Collier uh, get a shot against the front row. <laughs> awesome. Um, you know, there's no better challenge as a front rower. Um, you know, and the boys have gotten around him. Like, he's been massive for us throughout the July series for someone who uh, made his debut then. Um, just his physicality around the field, um, you know, and the, and the way that he's delivered at set piece has, has been awesome, you know. So for him to see the form that he's transferred from, from, from Super Rugby is awesome, man. And, um, yeah, he's looking forward to that challenge tomorrow, as we Alan, all are. Sorry, what, what does the loss of Taniella mean? And does it add extra pressure personally on yourself? Um, not really. I mean, um, Zane, he's, he's been huge for us in the past. Like, he's, he's played against South Africa over there, um, you know, in, in a tough arena. He went over there in the World Cup. And, in, you know, so he's, he's gotten a few games under his belt. But most importantly, he's got experience against, um, you know, uh, great, great uh, quality teams. And, um, you know, just on Nella, like, uh, obviously really sad, um, you know, through what he's going through at the moment. But... He's still here with us at the moment and he's contributed massively throughout the whole week and it's a testament to him as a person and how much he loves this team and, and to represent his country, you know, for, for him to still be here and um, to be himself and to add value is, is, is massive, man. So, um, yeah, we're definitely thinking of, of him and his family and what they're going through at the moment. And how big a challenge is the South African Type 5? Where do they rate for you? Oh, they're always a challenge, right? They're, uh, um, you know, well-experienced um, you know, in terms of the number of test caps that they have, and 
as, as a forward pack, we've spoken about that. Um, you know, and we know that that's going to be a massive challenge for us, which we're excited to face tomorrow. Alan, this is the first time all of these have sold out since 2013, which is pretty incredible. What do you think that speaks to about um, rugby in Australia? Oh, it's massive. You know, like, first of all, boys love playing at Suncorp, and then to sell it out is, is, is massive for us, you know. And uh, we know that we've got a great uh, supporting base here, here in Queensland, and um, we see Suncorp as our fortress, and the reason being is because people always come out and support, you know, so um, the crowd is going to be massive, like we're going to draw on them, um, you know, every step of the way tomorrow, and uh, to have that backing is, is, is going to be great, so uh, the boys are excited by that, and especially to play in front of our fans and family. And I know there's lots of excitement, but um, so much has been said about the Springbok's power and size. Is there any sense of intimidation with some of the younger players, and are you helping Yeah, I think it's more just um, you know letting the boys know like nerves, nerves is normal, um, you know. And, um, you know you're a bit worried if you're not nervous before a test match, and um, you know it's it's no different tomorrow. And we spoke about beginning of the week, like for for you to um, stand out here and sing that anthem and relieve those nerves. You you think back to the way that you've prepared, and uh, we've poured everything into our preparation, into what we've done in July series for us to know that we got to be confident, you know, to go out there and to deliver our best and to deliver the plan that we put forward. Al, you've got debut time in the bench, Charlotte like Grammer, you've come through Grammys with. Um, how much sort of pride you say instead of saying him, sort of get a chance to wear that gold jersey? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 so good for Reims. Um, you know, someone who's definitely earned, um, you know, his opportunity to wear the gold jersey. Like, he's added such great impact, um, you know, back home in, in Canberra with the Brumbies. And, um, you know, we all know like what he adds off, off the bench, you know, he can turn the game around through his physicality, through his work at the breakdown, and it's no different, um, you know, for him tomorrow to, to focus on what's been working for him and, and trying his best to deliver that tomorrow. What can you take out of uh, the match against the box last year in Victoria? Are there any lessons or things that you can take out of that game, translate them tomorrow? Yeah, again, I think the, the biggest learning for us is just to, is just to bring it back and, and, and focus on the basics of our game and probably somewhere where we didn't focus too much on, um, you know, head, heading into that test in, um, you know, last year. So I think, again, like that's been awesome for in terms of the messaging from the coaches, but that's something that they've been driven from the start, you know, so it's nothing new to us heading into that game tomorrow. So um, those are areas that... You know, we've got to focus on. There's a bunch Last of players from the well. 2021 win here as well. Can you, you know, draw on that kind of confidence? Yeah, I, I mean, like that was great for you know our our, our group at the time, and um, again, like a bit of seesaw in terms of the scoreboard, and then Big Nell has that carried down, you know, down the sideline. So um, you know, I think that's everything that you want in a Test match. Like we match them up front in, in terms of the set piece, um, you know, and uh, were defensively good around the park so we took our opportunities when they came and um, yeah th th those are the lessons that you'll take from that game but in, 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 in any test match. And the big ox? What, what about the big ox? Um, yeah he's again like we all know like he's he's probably uh, one of the strongest two sets going around at the moment um, you know and you're looking at his last game against Ireland he uh, put on a great performance there as well and someone who's been good for them and uh, they they really look at leaning on him for his physicality and his set piece like they do at you know for Mark Herbo and, and Marx as well so uh, they they're all a threat and again something that we've addressed um, as a pack and you know we're ready to face.